Hello, hello, hello. Okay, we are on like day seven of sharing our favorite nutrition tips. And I am super excited to have my namesake join me today. I also have Michelle Warsup Williamson joining me in. She is a travel agent extraordinaire. I mean, she travels all over the world. You should follow her because when I see these travel agents that go to these destination points and get to check out the facilities, I'm so jealous. It looks amazing. So um, she's super experienced in that, but she also has a passion for healthy living too, which I'm so glad because when you're a travel agent and you're traveling like that, you need more plant nutrition than the average person because just being on a plane you're actually being exposed to a lot of radiation while in the air so like flight attendants and pilots they should be really aware of how nutrition can play a role in helping them to neutralize a lot of the damaging effects of flying so i am excited for michelle to join me today she should be here any second Oh my goodness, the time is flying. Okay, let me tag her on here, which is what I should have done first, right? I did tag her in. Let's see, there she is. Invite her on. All right, Michelle, we're excited to hear from you and have you join me for today's nutrition tip. Okay. All right, in the meantime, I wanna share that there are some events coming up within our community that we have like specialists and doctors sharing some really um, health specific information on different things. We have an event coming up about the thyroid, how to protect and um, I think heal your thyroid. So if you or someone who has thyroid issues, or if you know anyone with a thyroid issue, feel free to reach out to me to get that information. That event is taking place, I believe, tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And then we also have another event in relation to moms and um, your children and how to raise smarter children. So who doesn't want to do that? I know I do. And so um, there's some simple tools and it's actually by Dr. Sears, who is considered America's pediatrician. He's amazing. I've been following him for years. I actually got one of his baby books when I was a new mommy, and now I have several of his other books. He's, him and his wife have written over 30 published books, and um, he's also consulted, I believe, with the royal family, but you know that's a little controversial right now. But just so you know the caliber of you know who Dr. Sears is, he always has amazing advice for parents. And not just parents, I mean, he's in his, I think he's probably in his 70s right now. So the wisdom that just comes alongside being a doctor for all those years, he has that. So hold on, I see approve, my bad. No, Michelle was there the whole time and I didn't approve it. I've been yapping my mouth. Hey, Daryl, how are you? I see you're watching. <laughs> Excited that you're joining us. Hey, Mish. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> Good. I got to tell them a little bit about you and how I'm so jealous whenever I see you traveling around the world to these amazing destinations. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? So much of the world to see. So much. So much. And I mean, I haven't even touched the tip of the iceberg. You may have, but I haven't. So you I would so because you see me going to so many places but really i have not touched the tip of the iceberg either so hopefully the world will open up and we'll get to a new norm and we can all go on some adventures that's for sure yes you can stick in your suitcase i'm more than happy to join you so, um, i got to tell them about that that you're a travel agent i also told them that you're like so into health and i love that because I know that people that travel, I'm sharing this, 
that you guys are exposed to a lot. Like when we travel on planes, we're exposed to a certain amount of radiation while being in the air. So it's important mm -hmm. we're, you know, putting things in our body to help utilize that. And so the fact that you are so plant-based and um, thank you so much, Michelle, for saying hi to both of us. <laughs> you know, I just love that you do the two together. And I met Michelle through our running group. So we were both part of Black Girls Run. And now we get to like just share healthy information together. So I'm turning it over to you, Michelle, because I'm excited to hear your favorite nutrition tip. I know it's hard to pick just one, but I know you're picking one just for today. <laughs> yes, it's very hard to choose one tip because, I mean, there's so many things that you can do to improve your health or to just try to, you know, keep diseases away from you, right? Um, one, my tip that I'm gonna speak of today is about eating salads. And my, my main thing or what's helpful most to me is when I'm able to create my salads beforehand, right? So I do them in the jar. And when I'm ready to eat lunch or even have my um, side salad before dinner, it's already prepared. So that's my, my, my tip. Um, another thing that I like to do is, uh, and I think um, Cynthia spoke about it, and even you, I drink lemon water first thing in the morning. So I think Cynthia spoke about that, which was really good because that is a different system first thing in the morning. Reinforced, because that is a good one. Yes, it is. But salads, 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 salads. Um, I can't say I've always been like a big salad eater. Growing up in Jamaica, I think we used to have like salad with a uh, Sunday dinner, like the little <laughs> lettuce and the tomato cut up. That's it. That was considered <laughs> salad. And that's what we used to have in Jamaica. But um, here in the US and even Canada, because I grew up in Canada also, um, salads are a big thing and they've evolved to more than just greens. You know, you can have so many toppings on a salad, um, different types of greens. I mean, there's kale, there is romaine lettuce, there's spring greens, there's butter, butter lettuce. There's so many greens that you can have on a salad and it helps you with putting more fiber into your body, which we all need fiber in our bodies, right? Yes. Um, I know of people and I myself have had bouts of constipation in the past or whatever. Putting more greens into your diet just helps you with that. Um, also all the vitamins and the nutrients that you get from eating more salads, a salad a day, even if it's a side salad, um, yeah. That's a great thing. Um, different things you can add to your salad, right? What I don't know what you add. To, Michelle, I know you add a lot to your salad. I like different things in my salad. And it's kind of crazy because certain things that I'd never used to eat before, my taste buds have changed over the, the course of the period of eating more greens, more vegetables, more you know, fruit and fiber into my diet. My taste buds have totally changed. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, when I talk over you, I hear like a feedback, but I was like, it's amazing how that happens when you start to eat like more good stuff. You crave more good stuff. I love that. Yeah. Because, um, one of my favorite things that I eat now, and I'll just go and eat it just by itself is black olives. I never used to like olives at all. I just something that just never appealed to me. And now I can't get enough of it. I will just open up some olives and I'll just start eating it just like that. And that's because, as I said, over time of, you know, even, it, you know, doing a little bit of salad every day that your taste buds will change and you will crave all the, the different nutritions and the different colors because there's so many colors that you can eat, right? Yeah. Purple cabbage, you know, green cabbage. There's, you know, all the different types of lettuce. There's so many different colors when it comes to eating your salad. And you can make your salad as pretty as you want. Some people like to add fruit, strawberries, blueberries, you know, so many different things that you can add to a salad. Some people might say, oh, I don't like eating salad, you know, because of certain type of vegetable or fruit that, or fruit that they don't like, but they don't think about the stuff that they do like that they could incorporate in a salad. So exactly. you, you start with what, start with what you like 
and then add on a little bit at a time add on a little bit of time and you can change it up right because some days you feel like a mexican salad <laughs> you have corn and black beans some days you might feel for a greek salad right so yeah. you know there's a lot of recipes for salads there's so many um let's see and um what was i gonna say Hold let's on, show you for watching hi danny hi gail gail says hi hi <laughs> hi john john to john i still work with him and hey oh daryl's here he says he loves black olives listen i haven't gotten mad adventurous to put olives in my salad i don't like i don't think i like olives i don't think i've ever tasted them honestly i'm like i look at them i'm like oh but um maybe i'll venture out and try a green one and a black one and see which one i like best i don't know yeah you i mean unless you try it you don't know you have to I try it you know, right um and I've, had salad, I've had olives in like um like uh if someone's making like a vegetable grain or rice or something like that i've had green olives where they incorporate that into the rice and you don't even realize that you're eating it and that's one way that you develop a taste in towards something right because it's incorporated in something else you don't notice it and then bam yeah. you're eating something that you never thought you'd eat before juliet um, loves green olives <laughs> some people like their olives in their drinks <laughs> yeah my husband does that he drinks but he eats that green and i'm like oh. i'm always like i should try it just to see if i like it but i don't know i haven't gotten as as brave yet but I may be encouraged to try that. Hey, Gail. Gail. <laughs> Hi, Gail. So um, Sunday, you did your demonstration for salads in a jar. And I also followed up and showed people on my Facebook because we were having technical difficulties. And actually, I was prepping for this week because I know it's going to be a busy week. I have, you know, a lot of work to do this week. So I figured, okay, let me do my prep. Prepping your meals is one of the best things that you can do for yourself yes not only for your time but also when you're thinking about your nutrition because if you have your food prepped then you won't go and just grab anything when it's time to eat because you'll already mm -hmm. have something prepared and ready to go and doing my salads in the jar is one of the best things. And, and I didn't know about salads in the jar until I was introduced to it with Michelle, Michelle here <laughs> and the rest of our group. And so I've been doing it now. I don't even know how many years we've been doing it, but we used to have great over five or six years. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> it's a party when you have a bunch of people bringing you know, different ingredients and, and different toppings that you've never tried. And the more the merrier, right? Because you have so many different scopes of ingredients and you get to try different dressings. Now, we don't like to use a lot, a lot of dressings on our salad, but the dressing does help. Um, and so I miss those salad parties. But Sunday we did the virtual one, right? And yeah. that was good. I know I miss all the variety. That's what I was saying. It's so nice when we did it together because I did venture out and try different things that I probably wouldn't have tried without like bringing it to me. So I miss the salad parties together. Hopefully by sometime this year we'll be back together again when we're doing that. But um, it's just a great way to have like community, and I feel like one of the best like most fun ways to get together is over food. I don't know who could argue that. Like once there's food there, you know, the party's on. So oh, yeah. that's the beauty of the second party. Hey, yeah. Kelly. Who's there? Oh, Gail, okay. Yeah. So, so, I absolutely love your tip because it's so fitting. Like it's so perfect. And like you said, you don't have to start where you feel like you have to throw everything in your salad. You can start with what the things you like and go for it. So you know what I found with the salad in the jar is that you can get more adventurous for some reason. I don't know. Once you dump it out, it's just like everything's so mixed together that you don't even notice some of the new things you add in there. That's why I need to add olives to start like venturing out with the olives. But um, I think one of the things too that one lady brought one time and now I can't get away from it. I never used to eat raw onions, but somebody, someone had brought uh, purple onions mm -hmm. one time. Salad jar party. I'm like, no, they're like, 
oh, I love onions. It's so good. Da, 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 da. And then I put some in my salad. And ever since then, I've been eating purple onions in my salad. Yes. I love, I do like onions, <laughs> but I'm allergic. But I'm realizing recently I haven't had a reaction to eating raw onions. So I may start adding them back into my salads too. So yes. We're um, all good. Go ahead. I was going to say, Michelle, so from Sunday, I made my salad, right? Ooh. And I know some people shake theirs up. I just like to, I, if I know I'm going to have lunch, which I am about to have lunch, um, I sit it out for maybe like five minutes. So all the dressing has ran, it's gone right through the salad. It's come all I the way down. I love it. <laughs> I see the cream in there. I mean, I have one in the fridge right now and I'm sitting here Think I was thinking, oh man, I should have taken it out and flipped it while we were talking. And so I'm going to go do that as soon as we disconnect because I'm hungry too and I want my salad and it's ready to go. Oh, I love it. So this one is a tiny bottle because I made this for my daughter. So it's a tiny bottle. But if you see the dressing is still on the bottom because I didn't flip it. But this yeah. one, the dressing is moved all the way through the greens because I already flipped it. Um, and the bigger bottles, I mean, even the small ones, you can fit so much greens in there and yeah. you just don't know until you turn it out. You're like, oh my gosh, this salad is so big, but guess what? It's good for you. And I'm only having salad for lunch today. I know it's going to be filling because it has so many things in there and the so much greens. It's so good. So, you know, for me, I'll eat a big jar. And of course, this is a wide mouth, like you were describing and in, in, in your um in your live. And the wide mouth makes it easier to get the greens inside there. Yeah. Um, we used to buy the smaller mouth ones, and then we realized that. <laughs> the wide mouth ones were better. Struggle, yes. We figured that out real quick. Yeah, we did. We did. We did. And then the lids, even the lids, you buy, you can buy the plastic lids separate. They don't rust, right? So that was a that was an improvement to our salad jars, which came over time of us learning. I think we've just perfected the whole salad in a jar at this point. Like we know the ins and outs of it because we've been doing it so long, but. Oh my God, enjoy your lunch. Now I'm I'm hungry too. I'm gonna grab my salad in the jar. Gail says the purple onions are a little sweeter than the regular. So that's yes. probably why you enjoy them. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna turn out my salad. Oh, let's see. Oh, what did you just do? There we go, we're getting a live demo. I love this. Let's see that, let's see. Uh, let's see it. I see the carrots, the corn, the cucumbers, the lettuce. What else you got hiding in there? Chickpeas. Chickpeas. There's almonds. There's sliced almonds in there. Oh my goodness, Michelle. So I'm see, so hungry. <laughs> it's a dinner plate, right? So you see, it's a full plate. Yeah. That is going to be filling. Like after I eat this salad, I am probably not gonna. I'm not gonna have anything. Probably water before I eat my dinner. And yeah. that's gonna be way better. So, kind of like um, rabbit food. When you have a lot of all these different things, and you have some proteins, you have some of the, it does fill you up. When I do the big jar, it's a complete meal. I'm good. Um, now I'm gonna have a smaller jar right now and have a shake alongside it, but. Oh my gosh, I love this tip. I know so many people love this tip because it has just been one of our healthy food hacks that we can't we can't stop doing. It. It's so good. It's just it's the best. Oh, Gail, that looks so good, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gail, I'm about to enjoy it. I'm about to enjoy it because I'm hungry. I haven't had lunch yet, and so this is my lunch. And I mean, for me. Sometimes I like to add like um, chia seeds um, or hemp, hemp seeds mm -hmm. to it. And I'm not really eating meat. So like some people might add chicken, but I don't. Um, but if I feel like having, um, oh, avocado. Oh my gosh. Avocado is good in your salad. I'm Definitely. Avocado, but I know you guys love it. And I can just imagine how good it would be with like 
sliced on top. It makes it even look prettier. Juliet says, love this. Great idea for the stuff I am growing on my flower garden. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Perfect. I'm actually going to go cut some of my produce right now because I need more lettuce so I can make some more salads. But thank you so much, Michelle. Guys, if you're not already friends with Michelle on Facebook, friend her. She like is still traveling in her business and going to these amazing destinations and we get to see it. So I live vicariously through her with all her travel. <laughs> So you can do that too. If you want to feel like you want to get away sometimes, you can watch Michelle and you'll see where she heads on her destination trips. Thank, Thank you, you so Michelle. Much. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>